What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Alrighty, so, in the last two episodes, we did a lot in Vilestone City, and uh, now, it's time to teach one of our Pokemon to uh, fly, because, you know, we weren't able to, thanks to our victory against Maylene, and, uh, I guess we found it in the Team Galactic Warehouse, where we saved our girlfriend Dawn's uh, Pokedex from utter destruction and un incompletion and all that stuff. So, yeah, we're going to be moving on right here, guys, into the next route going into... Shoot, what was the next town? I, I, I don't even remember. But if I remember correctly, yes, this episode was going to be the longest one ever. I actually had to shave off at least 12 minutes from this episode, which is in Route 214, just because we're battling uh, a bunch of people trying to, you know complete a lot of shit right here yeah 12 freaking minutes guys but now luckily right here it's a uh, it's down to 26 minutes uh, of uh, full-on uh, battles against everybody right here so hooray for editing right 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 yeah I wasn't gonna sit here uh, talking for like 40 minutes and all that stuff I haven't done that in quite some time so here we go battling against a psychic and she's coming out with her chingling her chingling a little Christmas bell right there and Donatello is going to kick some butt right now with some Razor Leaf. Look at this. Razor Leaf. Eat it. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, wait. Nearly defeated Chingling. Holy crud. Are you serious? Okay, so here we go. Bite attack. Completely forgot that Chingling is a ghost type Pokemon, and I do have a dark type move. <laughs> wow. It's been a while, guys. It has been a while. Anywho. Well, I'm kicking everybody's butt right here. For those who are playing Pokemon Sword and Shield, let me know on the bottom. How is it? Is it good? Is it everything that you wanted? Because it just came out. Prior to this whole recording right here, where it is a Sunday the 17th, yes, I have seen a bunch of uh, videos, like straight off the bat, people playing it, streaming it, and all that stuff, and I'm like, good God, I am so behind. I am really behind, so eventually I will be playing those games too, guys, but you guys got to have patience. I'm taking one step at a time, like right now, I'm teaching my Pokemon Ice Fang, which, you know, I'll switch it out for Twister and all that stuff, but Ice Fang, here we go, Hydra number four, kicking some butt now, without doing anything. So, this person right here is coming out with her Curlia, so I'm going to go with Toothless, the amazing Dragon-type Pokemon right here. Look at that. Looks vicious. Looks awesome. And there's that Curlia and uh, crud. I didn't. I think I deleted its bite attack or something. Or did it have a bite attack at all? I'm trying to figure that out. And, uh, well, Dragon Rage took 40 of its HP, which is good. But this Curlia right here is trying to increase its special attack and defense. So, what we're going to do right now is another Dragon Rage for the win. Look at that. Say goodbye, Curlia. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 405. Experience points. You can't ever have enough of that. And, uh, well, Abigail is like, my plan didn't go over so well. Thought you were supposed to be a psychic, knowing the future and all that stuff. Now, in this route right here, we're going to be doing a lot because, believe it or not, guys, we're going to find our final team member right here. And we're going to get some berries while we're at it here, too. You know, citrus berries and all that stuff. Now, most, or the majority of the time that I shaved off this video right here happened to be me trying to locate the certain Pokemon that I want to capture for my last, uh, team member right here. So, I'm going to try and get this Pomeg Berry right here, and then, uh, you know, battle a few trainers and try and get to, get to uh, the next Pokemon right here. And, uh, of course, I edited out the non-important battles right here. I did capture some Pokemon that are vital to this area right here, like Rhyhorn and all that stuff, but I'm not going to show it. So here we go. We're going to be battling P.I. Carlos. Hmm. Private Investigator, right? And uh, here we go with Donatello. And believe it or not, Donatello is really, really close to evolving here, too, I think. Does the grass type Pokemon evolve in this, uh, at level 32 right here? We will find out. Stay tuned in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. I'm just playing, guys. I wish, I wish I was in Dragon Ball Z. So here we go. Another Razor Leaf, and yes, that Quick Claw is finally working again. So here we go. Eat it. Eat it. That's right. Say goodbye to Goldeen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's right, and uh, nearly grows to level 32, which is good. And, uh, well, I'm going to be moving it on forward right here. See, there's an item right there, so let's go ahead and, uh, well, you know what? Right here, the next Pokemon. <laughs> so, you guys probably already figured it out. Yes, the next Pokemon on our team is Houndour, and uh, 
Yeah, it is both a dark and fire type Pokemon. I've been needing a fire type Pokemon for quite some time. And uh, what am I doing right? Oh yeah, I'm gonna throw a Dusk Ball right now. I'm not gonna try and battle it, trying to eliminate it because it took me like three attempts to try and find a Houndour. I think one of them had War and just like, you know, scared me away. And this Houndour is using Odor Sleuth, which is all good and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and just decrease its HP just a little bit. So here we go, Dragon Rage, not for the win, but for you know the capture. And uh, okay. So let's go with another Pokeball right here, and here we go, Dust Ball, get it, come on, stay in that ball, stay, stay, oh yeah, and there you go guys, our sixth Pokemon, our final Pokemon, Houndour, now it took me a while to try and figure out this Pokemon's nickname, I've been trying to find, you know, a very, very good name for this dog, as you can see, it is a dark and fire type Pokemon, so I needed to, you know, find a good name that was appropriate to it. And while I was doing this, I was actually watching one of my favorite shows, like uh, Hercules and Xena. And I just realized it. I should call it Hera. You know, the evil goddess, you know, Hercules' mama and all that stuff. You know, she controls everything. Plus, it's vicious, just like this dog right here. You know, it's pretty cool. And as you can see, I did teach Hera quite a few moves. Um, I may have screwed uh, screwed up on the whole ember part, but you know, eventually we're gonna we're, you know we're gonna work at it. We're gonna get some more fire type moves that you know d that that are more accurate than the fire blast. So here we go, battling Collector Brady, and this guy has six Pokemon. And uh, well, I'm gonna go with Toothless first. And as you probably already realized, yes, I did give the experience share to my Hera or Houndour, however you like to call it, right there. And uh, you know. It's not going to do anything right now, you know, except battle maybe the occasional ground type, or no, not ground type, but fire type and, uh, whatchamacallit, and, uh, ghost or maybe psychic type Pokemon, and here we go, Dragon Rage, how about that, Skoropi, how about that, you've been eliminated, and, uh, well, Hera's growing some experience points without doing anything, and look, this is the best chance right now, we're going to be going up against Atropius, so, let's go with Hera right here. That's right, Hera the Houndour. And Tropius. Huh, okay, so let's go with that Fire Blast right here. And how about that? Super powerful. Very, very, very powerful. And that's how it... Oh, yeah. And that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess? That's right, and that's a lot of experience points right there for Hera. And this guy's going to come out with a Yanma, so I'm going to stay with Hera right here. Even though Yanma kind of increases its speed a little bit. Oh, crap. And do and does that. Eh, you know, we can beat it. And uh, look at that. We just got to worry about the speed boost. Because every single time Yanma increases that speed, that's kind of like its advantage right there. So here we go again with another Fire Blast. And the Fire Blast finishes him off right there. Yanma eliminated. Alrighty, alrighty, 660 more experience points right there, and wow, this guy is just feeding my hero some easy Pokemon right here. Now, I just gotta beat him, better not miss, so here we go again with another Fire Blast, look at this, finish him off, look at that, look at that, Carnivine, eliminated, here is gonna be a good Pokemon, look at that, and it grows to level 25, which is also good. And uh, it's coming out with a crow gunk, so let's go with another Pokemon right here. Let's go with Gaia number two. You know, we're still trying to evolve Gaia number two as well. We're getting very, very close right here. And here comes crow gunk. Hopefully, Gaia number two actually doesn't uh, doesn't faint this time because it, it really it would really really bother me. It really would. So here we go, confusion attack, and there goes crow gunk, eliminated. That's right. It's like Mortal Kombat right here. That's right, and Gaia number two gets some stuff, and then Tangela is coming out. So let's go back to Hera, and let's get ready to rumble and defeat this Hera. Or not Hera. <laughs> and defeat this Tangela. That's right. Okay, so let's go with our final Fire Blast, and uh, bam. Now, it did have Ember Attack. I may have yeah if I remember correctly I may or may have not pushed the button a little too quickly on the ember instead of taking out odor sleuth or something so yeah that, that's the reason why it has fire blast kind of my bad right there and uh, would you look at that guys huh <laughs> first battle 
after capturing it, Hera evolves into Houndoom, so... A surprise, I guess? That's our new Pokemon right there! Look at this Pokemon! It's a badass Pokemon. Look at that! Houndoom. That's the advantage of capturing a, uh, a Houndour right here in this route, because they're always so close to evolving. In my predicament, I actually captured it uh, one level before it should have evolved. And look at that. Its stats goes right through the roof. Its defense is just a little bit weak. But it is a very, very good Pokemon to actually have. Now, I'm going to try and evolve Donatella here, too. Let's see what we can do right here. Now, I'm just trying to avoid the grass patches, because really... Uh, like around this part, around this time, I'm kind of thinking to myself, well, I, don't, I didn't really waste time. It was more of the fact that you know, I kind of just took my nice sweet time doing nothing and all that stuff. So let's go, Donatello, bite attack on the Warmadam, and uh, this Warmadam will not go away, and it's using hidden power right now. And uh, okay, definitely not the not the not the type. To, to beat me, but it's good. It's all good. Warmer damage doesn't look that strong, so here we go again with another bite attack. Nearly makes it faint, and wow, I did not know that. Warmer damage can actually learn confusion? Holy crap! That's pretty awesome. That's very awesome. So here we go again. Another bite attack, and that is how you defeat a Warmer Dam without any kind of uh, fire type moves. Just bite it! And uh, would you look at that? Donatello grows to level 32 and wants to learn Leech Seed. Now, uh, I mean, I already have Mega Drain and all that stuff, and, uh, yeah, I think I'm good. Mega Drain is always good. I mean, uh, if I really, really need it, then I could always go to the wo the Word Rememberer or something. I don't even know. So, I'm just gonna not learn Leech Seed right here. And Hera grows to level 4, or doesn't, <laughs> 408. It just gains experience points, and it's coming out with another... It's coming out with another warmer down, so I'm going to switch it out right here and going to go with Starblade. That's right. I haven't seen you in quite some time, right? Yeah. It's only been one episode. <laughs> so here we go, intimidating this Pokemon. And this Pokemon trainer has, like, different kinds of warmer dams, uh, different seasons, I guess, or, I guess, regions. I don't even know. I think this was the, uh, I think this was the, uh, the region where um, it presented... Uh, different kind of region Pokemon or like different types of uh, looks for Pokemon in different types of the regions. If you guys exp if you guys know what I'm talking about, and uh, look at that, Starblade grows, Hero grows, and then here we have another Wormadam. Wow, the Wormadam trainer coming out with another Wormadam. Look at that, that's the third typing right there. And uh, well, it's coming out with its protect. Doesn't do. It's only prolonging the inevitable that's gonna lose. That's right. So, let's go again with a fly attack. See if you can def deflect that one right there. I want to see this. I want to see something. And here we go with a fly attack. That is how you do it. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. And Hera is growing some more experience points without doing anything because it's not lazy, but you know what I mean. Okay, so... There you go, guys. Another evolution in this episode. Now you know why I had to shave at least 12 minutes off this episode, because we did a lot of work off the screen and, you know, trying to find hair and all that stuff, too. So, it's always good. And uh, would you look at that? A fully evolved Torterra, right? Yes. Torterra. And now it gains the ground-type capabilities, which, you know, I know I've gotten messages from you guys saying, Why would you use a Torterra? And right now, it's learning Earthquake, which is good because, damn, we needed a ground-type move. A very solid ground-type move, so I'm going to get rid of Razor Leaf, and I'm going to just teach it Earthquake right there. So I got two ground-type Pokemon, but I've always wanted to use Gibble and its evolution line because, you know, <laughs> I think it's one of the best of the best Dragon types that you can get out there. The other thing, too, is, you know, the pressure of, hey, I need Toothless on my team. I'm not trying to take a shot, but you know what I mean. And uh, what I'm going to do right now is i got to heal up my Pokemon. Make sure to heal up your Pokemon. Bring some good healing items. Ethers are always good, too, if you have uh, the strong-ass uh, moves like uh, Fire Blast, Thunder, you know, that kind of stuff. By the way, speaking of Thunder, I actually did teach Hair number... Or, uh, not Hair number four. Hydra number four, Thunder. So that's another move that it can have. And here we have another uh, Pokemon trainer. Another Psychic. His name is Mitchell. That's right, coming out with his Duskull. You're not looking so strong right now. 
So here we go with Hera and uh, Lexi. Lexi, do you have a dark type move that I know of? Yes, it does. It has a dark type move. Look at that. It doesn't have to use his fire blast so many times. This Pokemon is a tank of a Pokemon, and it just made him flinch. So there we go again with another bite attack. And there you go. Look at that, guys. It's easy stuff. Easy stuff. And it grows another level. Look at that. This Pokemon is a very, very good acquisition. I cannot believe it took it. It actually takes this long to actually capture this Pokemon. Now, if you remember, I did use a uh, a Houndour in my old, old, old Pokemon Crystal walkthrough back when I was uh, Draven XC711. A lot of you guys question it because yes, I hacked them, but doing this Pokemon right here, it's so much better than just hacking the Pokemon. Going legit feels great. Doesn't it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it true, guys? Just comment down below. <laughs> I am so sorry for all that stuff. Anywho, I'm gonna use a repel here because I really, really don't want to battle any of these Pokemon or, you know, the wild Pokemon. There's a, there's a Pokemon or Pokeball that I should be getting right there. So I'm gonna be switching it up again. Let's go with Hydra number four. It hasn't seen any action, and this guy has a collection of Pokemon that I guess I would rather not battle, but we still have to. I don't even know. So here we go, Jolteon, pick the wrong Pokemon. Good God, okay, so, uh, okay, so we gotta switch it out right here because um, I don't like my chances. That's quadruple damage right there that we don't, we don't wanna mess with. So let's go right here with Donatello, look at that. And look at that big old bonsai tree and it hasn't affected my Donatello. So now here we go with an earthquake attack. Let's go with earthquake and there we go. You got to love, you got to love that that quick claw. It really did work. And uh, look at that, defeated. S simple, quick, simple and quick. Look at that. Okay, so my team is starting to like, you know, it's really starting to get strong, and I'm I'm loving it. Now I just gotta make sure to evolve the final Pokemon onto this team, which happens to be what was it? Yes, Gaia number two. Yes, we have to evolve them properly and all that stuff so let's go right ahead and use uh let's see rock tomb before that quick attack okay alrighty and here we go again rock tomb and that's the end of that that is the end of that chapter for this pokemon and no it's not it just lowers its speed right there and here we go again one more time that's right rock tomb attack oh yeah oh yeah Feel it! There we go. And, uh, well, let's see. That's a good experience point for Hera right there. So in this episode right here, you're going to be seeing a lot of Hera. Me talking about Hera, the goddess Pokemon and stuff. I think that's like two Pokemon that I've named after gods, right? Nah. Can't be. Mortal Kombat gods and everything. You know, that's all, that's all good. So here we go with the Vaporeon. And so I'm going to be going with a Shockwave right here. And yes, I completely forgot. Yeah, I taught Gaia number two Shockwave. Yeah, it's been a whole mess of a, of a weekend right here, guys. And, you know, teaching Pokemon new moves is always great. Very, very great. So, let's go again. And, crap, it's using that sand attack. But, luckily for us, we are using Magic Leaf and Ra <laughs> Magic Leaf and uh, Shockwave. They never miss. And, uh, although they're not that powerful. But, you know, you know what I mean. So, here we go again. Razor Leaf for the win. I don't know why I'm not using. Uh, I don't know why why I'm not using Shockwave. Probably just waiting for it. And there's that Sand Attack again. You're not you're not doing anything. I'm I'm gonna use Shockwave and it's going to work. Look at that. Destroyed. Why won't you die? Oh God, this Pokemon. This Pokemon has the defense of, uh, of a rock type Pokemon. It will not die. So here we go. Shockwave again for the win. And that is how you end that. Vaporeon eliminated. Oh yeah. And uh, well, that's level 27 for Hera. And Gaia number two, you know, finally winning a few battles here and there. You know, after a nice losing streak here and there. And, uh, well, let's see. Gotta heal my Pokemon. I really need to, because, uh, why not? 
or I will eventually. Now, this is a big patch of grass, which you will find some great Pokemon, and we will be able to find a red shard right here, and, uh, well, now let's go ahead and battle some more trainers right here. This guy is, has been waiting for us for quite some time, and he travels all over the world, as he says, and uh, that's great. That's great. I wish I could travel the whole world, but eventually we will, you know. If you guys don't remember, like, my second year as a YouTuber, I actually went to Berlin, Germany, that was a pretty good one. I wish I could still have. I wish I still had the video for that one right there. That way, that way you guys could see that. Yeah, I did my walkthroughs in another country, which is great. And uh, well, there's that swagger attack. Shield on does not want uh, any of this smoke, like they like, like they say right here. So let's go again and uh, switch out our Pokemon right here, because you know we have to. We need to. Alrighty, alrighty. So there we go. Switching out our Pokemon. Shield Dawn is not looking pretty great. So, let's go with that Mega Drain. Oh yeah, Mega Drain for the win. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. There we go. Oh, crud. Well, it's named Shield Dawn for a reason right there. And uh, there's that Swagger. Okay, so I really don't want to switch out my Pokemon right now. So I'm going to have to just gamble on it. I really do. So let's go again and... Let's use Return, since it's a physical attack, and... Okay, so that gamble did not work out. Takedown does not work out, so we snap out of the confusion! Holy crap! So here we go, Return attack. And, uh, does not do a lot on Shield On. Oh, crud. That's a very, very high defense stats. Oh, crud. Okay, so let's go again and try this. And beat him. Here we go. There we go. Mega Drain. Defeated. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. We're doing something. We're doing something really, really good. And that is the end of that guy right there. So let's go ahead and move on right here because uh, we really need to. Alright, so there is a, a certain place right here that I have been talking about for quite some time. But before that, we have to battle more trainers. Good God. You see what I mean, guys? There are a lot of people here. So many people. Annoying. Really, really annoying. Alrighty. So here we go again against Collector Jamal, and he's coming out with his Porygon, which is good, I guess, but it's kind of scary, too, because it's like, whoa, he got, he has a Porygon. I've never faced a Porygon until this right here, which is also great. Alrighty. So let's go Thunder Attack. Defeat him. Let's defeat him right here. And it's paralyzed. Okay. Alrighty. Bring it. And, uh, wow. Porygon knows... Cybeam, which is uh, kind of crazy right there. So let's go again. Let's do this rate or Dragon Rage right here. Hopefully it beats him. Maybe. And yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Wow, this Porygon is a is a fighter. He is a fighter. So let's go again. Bite attack. That's right. Oh yeah. Okay. Alrighty. So that's that's how you do that. And uh, well, we got to move on to the next one right here. Let's see. There's another trainer, of course. Battling everybody, getting experience points, evolving all my Pokemon. That's the mission, isn't it? I think it is. So, here we go. Ruin Maniac Brian. And, uh, well, he's coming out with his Bronzor, so we all know what type of Pokemon that guy is. Oh, God. Yes, we do. And this Pokemon is, uh... Well, we're gonna... I don't think Bite... A yeah, Bite Attack is not gonna be very effective because... Yeah, okay. And, uh, well, let's go again with another bite attack right here. And that bite attack does something to us. Alrighty. It doesn't do anything. Okay, so let's go. Bite attack again. Let's get that. And that is how you do it. That is how you defeat that guy. What now? Suck it. So he's coming out with a cranny dose. Or Cranny dose, cr 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 cranny dose. I butcher names. It is what it is, guys. I butcher names. I am so sorry. Alrighty, so let's do this. Ice Fang for that win. And it, oh crud, it's not that effective against this guy right here. And it's frozen. Okay. Alrighty, so something's going our way. Alrighty. So here we go. Dragon Rage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. And that is how you defeat this guy right here. And, uh, Hira has been defeated. And, uh, well, I guess that's pretty much, uh, every, 
everybody right here, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's grab this item right here. We got ourselves a magmar magmarizer, which can be used to evolve a magmar. And then, uh, well, we're not going to use any kind of rock slump mash. Now, this area right here is the area that I was talking about back in uh, Celestion Cave, I think. Now, this area will only open up when you actually capture all the unknowns. This will actually enable you to go into the secret area where, you know, that one item that we can't get is over there, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, that's maybe later if I have the time to actually capture all the unknowns. But, you guys already know. So, let's move on right here. Let's go ahead and uh, heal up our Pokemon. Use a Repel. Not really heal up our Pokemon, but just re use Repels because... I really don't want to battle anybody right here, so let's see. We've already battled you guys. And there's an item right there that we still need to get. So let's go right up here and uh, grab this said item. And look at that. We got ourselves the big root. Awesome. And let's see. Is there anything else right here? No. I think we've already battled you. And yes, we are moving on to the Valor Lake front right here, which you can actually find some good Pokemon. You can find an Ultra Ball right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Is there anything else? Yes, there's a camera crew right here waiting for us. Saying that nobody... Well, you can't go in there right now. And this guy right here is talking about the legendary Pokemon on the lake. He actually filmed the Red Gyarados of the Lake of Rage. Now, if you did, then that would be cool because you saw me capture him. That's all. Okay, anywho, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be moving forward into this area right here. See you guys.